I could write as 4.73 with a bar over it, or over R, minus 2.9, and then this is R squared over R squared, so R over big R, quantity squared, times 10 to the third. Okay. So uh, this 3 then is just there to take care of that 3. Uh, so essentially what I did is simply just multiply this by 3, divide this by 3, 4 pi r cubed over 3 became the volume, so this became b, you got it that way, and then this 3 is just left there as a 3, mass divided by volume is the density of the earth, okay? So the final answer then is the density of the earth times uh, 3 times the uh, gs, gravity at the surface of the earth. Okay? What is the density of the earth? So mass of the earth divided by 4 thirds pi radius of the earth cubed. So mass of the earth, here we go again, we're going to have 5.974, right? times 10 to the 24th, divided by 4 thirds pi, radius of the Earth would be, well, we used it over there, it'd be uh, uh, 12,756, divided by 2 cubed. So let's calculate the, uh, the density of the Earth, 5.974 times 10 to the power 24, divided by 4, divided by pi, times 3, times, I'm going to just take this here, times 3 times uh, 8, divided by 12,756 to the power 3. Okay, so I got five uh, uh, five point. Well, this was kilometers, so you have to now uh, make this ten to the third. So now I have to even divide this by ten to the third cubed is ten to the ninth. There you go. So five thousand. 496.966 kilogram per meter cubed. So 5,000, uh, you could say 5.5 almost. So if you wanted to make that into gram per centimeter cubed, you just go back three spaces. Roughly about five and a half gram per centimeter cubed, which is the numbers that are usually stated in uh, tables for the density of the Earth. So then, uh, Gs over the density of the Earth. I didn't really have to do this, but I kind of just rewrote it so that I kind of have a good way of expressing the gravity inside of the Earth now. This is the density of the Earth. This, this here is the density function. The density, density cancels in terms of units. So the units of this is gravity at the surface. So the gravity at the surface, and this is G, so it has the same units. So the two densities here cancel. So I, I kind of rewrote it there. So now let's check here. If uh, little r is equal to 0, the G is equal to 0, 0, so it's going to be 0. If the little r is equal to big R, the surface, then G is equal to 3 times 9.8 divided by the density uh, that we calculated, 5,000. Uh, 496.966 kilogram. Then you have your R is equal to R, so you're just left with 4.73 bar minus R is equal to R, so 2.9 times 10 to the third. So let's see here if this one works. Should 3 times 9.8 times parentheses 4.73 repeating threes minus 2.9 
times a thousand divided by five four nine six point nine six six nine point eight oh okay so it does work with some rounding and stuff but uh, meters per second square so it is a continuous function so now we can check any ratio we can check little r is equal to half of r so what would that be as I said, my prediction, it should be more than 4.9. So this is going to be a half. And this is going to be a half squared times a thousand. Here, 5.5, the thousand would cancel the decimal place here. here. So 3 times 9.8 times parentheses 4.7333338, 5.5 minus 2.9 times 0.5 squared, close parentheses times 10 to the power 3 divided by 5496.966. There you go, 8.78. per second squared. Perfect. Much bigger than 4.9, right? Because most of the matter is still inside of you. So it, the gravity has not decayed. So it looks very, very concave, concave down like that. Okay? So if you were, let's say, 200 pound person, 200 pound person on surface, because the force of gravity is proportional to the little g, how much would you weigh at half halfway? Uh, then you would just do 200 times uh, 8.78 over 9.8. You take the ratio of whatever the little g is to the g at the surface, and you weigh 179 pounds. Halfway. Through, this, uh, through the center of the earth. Then you could do it for any ratio, quarter, one-third, one-tenth, and so on. Okay, with that we end, and then next week we'll do some more stuff. Uh, we'll talk about gravitational potential energy. We'll do satellite motion and other stuff. Okay.